Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you. I don't think I've done one in a while so I thought I'd do that today. And like I said, I've been struggling for video ideas and I have a little pile of accumulated things, if that's the right word. So I thought I'd get that done for you today. It's not a massive one, but I do have a few things to show you. Um, so the first things I will show the sort of um, beauty things. I don't have that many, but I'll get on with showing them. So if you've watched my videos for a while or for a few years or even one of my first videos you will know that I did a review about the Lee Stafford treatment for hair that grows, never grows past a certain length and you can probably tell from the video I did the sort of review in it that it, my hair was quite short and like a few years after when I am got brown hair my hair has grown like a little bit so I decided to go back to it because obviously I wear extensions this isn't my normal hair um, so I decided to go back to it to give my hair a bit more growth because it's not the length I would like it to be. It's quite short and I don't like that. Um, so yeah, I went back to this and I think it's about £8 something from Boots. Then I also got two nail polishes, which I haven't bought for ages. Um, but Barry M were on two for £6. And I got these two, the, the jelly ones, and they're in sugar apple and pomegranate and I have the pomegranate one on now. I thought it looked a little bit more pinky sort of red in the bottle but it's come out just proper red so yeah but there were two for six pounds. Then I think this is the last beauty item actually. Um, I recently got the Vanilla Lace Victoria's Secrets body spray and I've only had this about a week and as you can see I've used quite a bit. But I absolutely love the smell of these, they're amazing, they do last for ages, which I didn't think that a body spray would. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy I bought this and I keep spraying it all the time, which is probably why it's gone down so much. Moving on to clothing, um, I've just actually looked, there's really not that much at all, but anyway. Um, I recently got this top from River Island, it's really basic, sort of, I don't know how you describe this sort of pattern thing. Um, but yeah, it's got the like three quarter sleeves instead of full sleeves or t-shirt sleeves like the one I'm wearing now. Um, and it was £8. It's quite see-through so make sure you do wear a white bra. I don't have a white bra so I had to wear a bikini top with mine which, you know, but... Um, but yeah, £8. I think that's really cheap for River Island. So I got that. Um, then from H&M I recently got this cardigan. And it's really, really basic and... I just need sort of like some new basic clothes. Um, so it's just your long sleeved grey cardigan. It's quite thin, it's not a thick material and I think it was like £7.99 which is really really cheap. But it's nice to just throw one in the house if you're a little bit cold. Obviously not for going outside because it's freezing at the minute but if it's a little bit cold in the house and just throw this over a top and a pair of jeans and I think they have it in a few different colours as well like green and ready colour I think, I'm sure they do. And then I have two things from Miss Pap, I don't know if you'll have heard um, about them before but I have put a few pictures on my Instagram of me wearing both these items so if you want to see what they look like then do follow me on Instagram, it'll be in the down bar below as always. Um, but the first item I got is this dress. Now I'm not one to wear dresses usually. I'm just not a dress person, I don't suit them, I don't suit skirts, I don't suit dresses. I just like to be jeans and top and I'm quite tomboyish with my clothes. Um, but yeah, I think I had this on in my last video actually. It's a long sleeved like tartan print dress and then it's just a swing dress. Um, I can't remember how much this was but I don't think that, that it's not an expensive website. Everything's um, really fairly priced. And then I also got these jeans which are really really sort of ripped on both legs. I did buy a pair from prettylittlething.com, um, just a black pair with uh, rips in the knees but they are in the wash otherwise I would have shown them in the haul as well. Um, but yeah I got these and I don't think these were that expensive either, I can't remember how much they are. Um, but like I say if you want to see what they look like on, I do have a picture on my Instagram. They're not very high weighted, they'll probably come just near my belly button I'd say um, but yeah I just have to wear sort of a long top because I like high waisted jeans usually. My last three things, that sounds really weird because this video seems to be about three minutes long and usually my holes are massive. Um, 
I have three items from She Inside. Um, so the first one I will show you is a bikini, and I got this because I don't really know. You know, you don't know if you're going to go swimming in the summer or if you're going to go on holiday. I only have one bikini, and it's the white one that I wear under the white top. I just thought it's about time I needed a new one. So I got this one from She Inside. It's really sort of bright yellow with um, red lace around the top, and then it has the straps <laughs> where you tie them and then the bottoms are so small I don't know if my bum cheeks will be hanging out with this which probably won't be a good look um, and it looks like this they are bright yellow with the red lace at the top and it's got my hair on the back and then the back looks like this so exactly the same as the front so I don't know if I could get away with these in a like public swimming pool because I don't want my bum cheeks hanging out and everyone's seeing them but I don't know, I haven't even tried it on to be honest, so we'll see what that looks like on. Um, the next thing I have been wearing non-stop, like I think I've worn it more or less every day since I've got it because it is so warm and cosy and I just thought it'd be like a cardigan but it's not, it's like an actual coat. So it's this, if I can sort of hold it up properly. It's got sort of the waterfall sort of down the front where this bit sort of folds over and then sleeves obviously and it's it's a short when it comes like just to your hips but the inside is all fluffy like even the inside of the sleeves are fluffy everything's fluffy it's so warm i'm gonna go wash my car soon and i'm gonna wear this to wash my car because it's gonna be so warm um but i like the pattern of it as well and i just thought it looks so cozy so yeah that's gonna be my new outdoor winter coat even though it's not gonna be winter anymore soon but it's still freezing um the last item I have is this dress. I wasn't sure about it, but the picture of the girl that had it on that I'd seen previously, not on the Sheet Inside website, I'd just seen it on this girl and she looked amazing in it. And it doesn't look so amazing on me. I should have probably realised this to be honest, that it wouldn't look like that on me. Um, but it's this one where it's got the sort of, to try figures out, it's a really low front, which for stars I don't have boobs anyway. Um, and then it's got sort of the peplum sort of waist, but not too much that it sticks out. And then it's just straight down with long sleeves. But I love the colour of it. And yeah, it is a really nice style, but I just think I need more boobs to fill it out. Um, but yeah, the girl who was wearing it looked amazing and it's just me that doesn't look so great. Sorry if I sound a bit out of breath, I've just had to go outside, I've had a missed call off my mum and go check if there's some red wine in the garbage or something and I'm absolutely freezing now. So I'm a little bit out of breath, I've been rushing in and out and on the phone. Um, but yeah, that's the end of my haul, I'm really sorry it was really small because that was not a haul like mine, that sounded like some sort of poem, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone for watching. I also just wanted to do a quick shout out to Opinion Outpost, I have done um, a shout out to them before and I've got quite a good response from them before. Basically it's a website which needs your research on sort of new products, on foods and different things like that etc. By doing the opinion, if that makes sense, you're making your opinion on um, the website, you can earn cash and things such as Amazon cards, gift cards, iTunes cards and other things like that. Hundreds of people are doing it and signing up and getting rewards for it. And it's also free to join. A lot of people were telling me last time, um, asking me if it's, you know, real and stuff like that. Obviously it's real or I wouldn't be giving it a shout in the video. So I'll leave the link in the down bar for you to check that out as well. It's definitely a good way to earn a little bit of money. Um, also, my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and blog will be in the down bar as I mentioned my Instagram earlier. Um, anything else? She inside links, clo and just close links, I'll leave them down below as well. Um, so thank you for watching, as usual please leave your video requests below as well. And I will see you on my next video everyone, bye!